Now this object is going to be fairly straightforward in that what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the top view and well first thing I want to go to back to my uh, you know UV tab and in this case what I could do is I'm just going to try my luck with projection atlas once again and I get something like that. Now this is actually not too bad because what I get here is I get this I get uh, you know these and if I inspect parts of my model they are more or less connected uh, you know it's not perfect but it's not bad um, so whenever you get something like that you know whenever you use the atlas it breaks up your model automatically and you're very quickly able to select parts of your model like that now of course I can grow my selection and then I can shrink and you know do whatever I can just make certain fix-ups here and there or not I might not want that portion altogether anyways it's really up to you but anyways um, yeah if you use Atlas you're just very easily capable of selecting portions of your model like that and then of course unwrapping those portions now in this case what I could technically do is I could just select you know something like that and cutting the bottom portion out like that do the same thing to the top portion of this model and now all I have to do is just select a few edges here and unwrap of course the other thing I could have done is technically I could have just selected one line up by the corners so I get a much more accurate cut along the corner which is really what I should have done and now what I want to do is I want to do the same thing to the other side like that and of course now we select this that because what we really want to do is we want to, to make sure that that's all connected now deselect this again connect Disconnect, connect, disconnect, and once again do the same thing here. Now what we, what, the reason why I did this is because I want to make sure that the top portion is cut all the way out, the bottom portion is cut all the way out, and the only thing I really need and I forgot to do was just make a few more cuts right along here like that and if now I check out my model doesn't seem like I'm missing any more edges I can just go to unwrap and if I keep dragging to the left I get something like that. So now the top portion of course and the bottom portion are more or less cut. Um, they are pretty much good to go. 
Of course, if I wanted to get a little bit more accurate, because I don't know, sometimes the, you know, the unwrap uh, tool, especially since right now it's set to cylindrical, sometimes I might need to set it to planar, um, y-axis and whatnot. You might notice that certain parts might be bigger uh, and smaller than others. And I could, of course, check this by doing that, by assigning a material. And again, sometimes, sometimes you might be getting some deformation across here. So what you might want to do is you might just want to go to projection tool, especially since you know that this is in fact flat. Just scale it back down until it's all nice and square. And then what you could do is considering, you know, there is somewhat of a small stretch here because this polygon is pretty much straight down. There is somewhat of a streak here if you really want it to be accurate. What you could technically do is you could then just go and use the uh, relax tool to relax or smooth out this object here. Now, if you're going to do that after, you know, mapping this object, uh, you know, planarly, you might want to lock the boundary and smooth and it should hopefully delete or remove some of the, uh, you know, distortion there. Again, I'm going to do the same thing here. Just do that. Of course, I really should apply my UVs to the entire object. I'm just going to scale that up and down, all around, and make sure I do that. Now, okay, so this is okay this is okay I'm just going to cut that out over here and now I'm really left with only one more piece and that is this thing here well I'm going to be using the peeler tool here so I will use the peeler and once again it has managed to mangle up my result so I'm just going to use the peeler it will tell me no. Once again, it tells me no. And again, sometimes it just breaks. So sometimes what you might want to do is you might want to make it slightly simpler for this tool to work in that what you should or what you could do is you could technically cut this object in two, into a few pieces. So what I'm going to do now is of course I'm going to, well actually I'm going to use it slightly different. Like, you know, this and this is what I mean about making decisions. Sometimes if something's not working, the answer really might be simple right in front of you sometimes it's just best to just use the unwrap tool you know I just used that on this portion here and it worked out just fine so again I'm going to do the same thing along here select this select up oh. I'm going to once again unwrap that and now I get a much smoother you know, a much better result all the way across my model. So I can technically UV stuff in pieces. You know, nobody says I can't do that because what I can do is I can, you know, I can project stuff in pieces, unwrap stuff in pieces, and then I can fix it up later. There's really, again, no right and wrong answer to all this stuff. So I'm just going to unwrap that and sometimes if I just use a different axis to project from, I might get a better result. So if I try to rotate this now, if I just select where to rotate from or where to place my pivot, again, sometimes the result is better than other times, but this is actually not too bad. Sometimes you might notice that your action center isn't really following, uh, you know, your orders. It might just get stuck somewhere. Sometimes you might just have to hit 
action center again you might just have to you know double click enable it re-enable it and it will actually follow what it is that you're telling it to do so in this case what I want to do is I just want to go orient pack because it's close enough and you know if you ever find yourself again being in a case where you're not using enough of the UV map that's okay like what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut this back back into this we're going to pack this model up and we start noticing again that we don't have we're not using enough of the texture map so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to select this portion of the model I'm going to cut of course before I cut I'm going to tear off that piece I'm going to try pack again uh, it's slightly better it's not exactly perfect but of course if I want to manually you know select any of these portions here and scale them up I can it's not going to be perfect now because now the size of this is different than that it depends if it really matters to you or if you're just after a resolution and of course I could now click any one of these unwrap all this manually and you know the less that Moto has to evaluate the better probably the result that you're going to get so always be mindful of that the simpler you make it for Moto the better the result you're going to get as far as UV mapping is concerned it's always been like that I don't think it's going to change anytime soon And again, you just work your way one object at a time, <laughs> like that. And of course, once you are finished, you select the entire model, you go to Vertex Merge, and uh, it, once again, this object is pretty much done. You know, you could make some improvements, make sure everything's readable from all sides, uh, you know, try to align all this stuff perfectly, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to be anal about this texture map. Um, when really it, for all I know, it could be just a very small prop somewhere and, you know, maybe not a hero resolution model. But anyways, um, this object's done. On to the hammer.